So today I'm going to be packing this rucksack for winter camping here in the UK. So in a minute we'll see how my tent, sleeping bag and all this lot fits in my rucksack. But before that I'd like to thank today's sponsor Squarespace. So like me, if you need a website, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial where you can set one up, see what it looks like before you buy. All right, so let's see if we can get everything in this pack. So I'll quickly go through some of the things I'll be taking on my next trip. That's not one of them, by the way. I will be taking the Trangia. Um, it's in the bottom here. Um, I have kept the storming kit in as well because it weighs literally grams and if I want a really quick brew I'm just boiling water that works a treat. I've also got the Trangia triangle in here and there is a little aluminium windshield as well. Underneath that we've got one of those fiberglass heat proof mats. A few things here for sleeping in so I sleep in a, in a woolly hat. Um, there's a merino buff if I need that and there's also some smart wool socks. I do take a micro fleece, a merino wool base layer top and trousers. A couple of pairs of gloves. These ones won't actually go in my pack. I'll be wearing those. Um, but these go in for, for night time if I need them. These are Montane Prism gloves. Packed down to really nothing. A dehydrated meal. Plenty of snacks. And loads of hot drinks to warm me up. As well as a couple of Punk IPA celebrate getting to the top. Some little bits will go inside a Ziploc bag like my Neo Air pump for my Thermarest, which is here, and here's my Trichology pillow. Another thing that goes in my winter setup are some micro spikes. So these just fit on top of your boots. That way it gives you much better grip in snowy and icy conditions. But they only come out if it's essential. So the first thing going into the pack is this little fiberglass soldering mat that gives me heat protection from the stove. That goes in this little sleeve at the back here, well away from anything like the sleeping bag, the fiberglass does make you itch. Next up we have my insurance policy, which is a closed cell foam mat. Um, this will give me a little bit of extra insulation. But it's also a lifesaver if anything was to happen to my Thermarest. I'll just roll that up. Shove that into the pack. And then I'm going to create a bucket. And then everything else can fit in there. So right at the bottom of my pack goes my quilt. Whether it be in winter, I'm going to be using... The minus 12 version and everything's going to go inside a you know, pack liner so the pack liner goes in and then there's no stuff sacks or anything like that just get the quilt shoved in right down to the bottom On top of that, I'm going to put my sleeping kit, which is my merino base layer. Full socks. And I had to sleep in. At this point, I normally put my tent poles in. They go on the outside. But just down the side there. Next in is my pillow. And my thermo rest. Still plenty of room inside that 48 litre pack. On top of that, I'll put my Montane Prism gloves. You've probably seen my Decathlon down jacket. That normally goes in now, but I treated myself to a new one. Again, this is Decathlon and a bargain at 50 quid. This does look big and bulky. But it squashes down really small. Next in is my food. 
normally goes in some kind of bag. I do also take a couple of snacks, put them in these little pockets as well. Oh, I'm falling. Like the squashes on top. Now my stove can fit in. I will keep my fuel on the outside of the pack, so we'll put that in later. So there's not a huge amount left to go in the main compartment of the pack. Uh, what do you think of the audio so far? Uh, last time I filmed anything in here, um, it was a live stream and the audio wasn't too good. It had a bit of an echo to it. So I'm hoping I can use the office for a bit more filming when the weather's not too good. This is where I also put together all my orders that I get through my website. So as you can see, I use Squarespace for both my websites. The first website I set up was more of a blog website where I did things like list the gear that I used, recorded some of my wild camping vlogs, beginner's guides, things like that. And more recently, I set up a website which is a little online shop, things like my Leave No Trace t-shirt, put some videos on here as well, as well as uploading a load of photos from all my trips. I've never done anything like website building before, but I found this so easy to use. And whether you're just a blogger or you want to set up a shop, the Squarespace templates make everything a doddle. So if you want to grow online, then why not head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You can create yourself a website in a couple of hours. It's really easy to do. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. So you can get to see how it works without any obligation. So you've got nothing to lose. Just click on the link below and get yourself set up with a website. So in the top section here, is where I normally put my sanitary kit, which is toothpaste, toothbrush, toilet roll, near plugs, things like that. Got a little micro fleece. If I get a little bit chilly, that can go on top of there. And that pretty much everything to go inside there. Now I can squeeze in my tent. So in here I've got my Hilleberg Solo, which is my winter four season tent. As you can see, the squash is down quite small. Then I can manipulate the shape a little bit to fit the top of my rucksack. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of a tight squeeze and I could do with the 58 litre version for winter camping. So I might treat myself. So that's everything inside the pack. So in this top section here is where my is where my electronic -y things go. I also put a small first aid kit in here, but I've left that in my other rucksack back at home. My head torch. Got my long titanium spoon that lives in there. Sometimes put my battery pack in here as well, inside some little waterproof bag. In colder weather, electronics tend to die a little bit quicker, so I have to take a bigger battery pack, and this one's uh, 16,000 milliamps. Usually keep my buff in the top. Let's get it flipped over. In this stretchy pocket, I normally put my tent stakes, they go down the bottom, my micro spikes, and my delta pegs. These have got a few war wounds on them. I've seen on Facebook somebody makes a little bag for these, so I'm going to have to get myself one. These are my Berghaus waterproof trousers. 
and my waterproof jacket. As you can see, this is pretty packed. So the 58 litre version would probably make more sense. I can normally find a little bit of extra room for a beer. So these are the last few bits and bobs. In these big pockets, the bottom goes one of these little sponges for wiping the tent down. My Nalgene bottle. I have another bottle here, but this one's not for water. This saves me having to get out of the tent in the middle of the night. Next to go in is my Cascade Wild folding table. Also got room on this side for my Thermo SZ light. that only leaves the last couple of bits which is my open all I think it's a number eight knife might be number seven and some fuel for my alcohol stove so that's my 48 litre pack fully loaded and to be honest I recommend that you have a slightly bigger pack for winter camping I could make a few changes like taking a lighter weight tent a less bulky down jacket and these delta pegs etc are a little bit bulky the roll mat takes up a little bit of space as well so i could strap that to the bottom if i wanted a little bit more space inside it isn't overly heavy though and i've been more than happy to have this on my back i did have a 70 litre rucksack but i found it was a much stiffer pack and nowhere near as comfortable as this one so for me i think the 58 litre version of this would be the happy medium let me know in the comments below what pack you're using for winter camping and if there's anything you can recommend that is as comfortable as this which doesn't have the really stiff hip belt that you get on the, the larger packs um, and something that's got an air sprung back would be great as well so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time